Arabi or Rabi is a brown castle in southwestern Bohemia in Pilsen region on a prominent hill by the central course of the river Otava in the foothills of Shumova region. It is the largest castle in terms of area from all Czech castles. Its name might derive from the German word Raben, Raven, or it could be Menga Czech name Brabčí vrch, Sparrow Speak. Rabi Castle was proclaimed a national culture monument in 1978. The first mention of Rabi Castle dates from 1380, although it is not known exactly when it was founded. It is likely that the lords of Velhatice established it after 1300 to protect trade routes along the Ottawa and also to inspect gold-bearing deposits in it. They built a strong palace, ramparts and a keep. Subsequent owners, the Schwihovsky of Riesenberg family, continued building work and built the outer ward and two square towers. At the start of the Hussite rebellions, the Schwihovsky family searched for havens of supporters of the Catholic side in the district and for their treasures at Rabi. In 1420, the Hussites conquered the castle twice, and legend has it that during the second siege, an arrow fired from crossbow hit the trunk of a pear tree, and a resulting splinter from the tree hit Janjishka in his only good eye. In 1479, the provincial governor Puta Svihovsky of Riesenberg became the owner of the estate and began with a thoughtful remodeling of the castle. Rabi Castle was, from the very start, envisioned as a dungeon-type castle. It was built in the form of three separate sections, constructed in tiers above each other. The ramparts were up to six meters wide. However, building activity exhausted the Schwihovsky family's finances and the fortifications remained incomplete. Many alchemical experiences took place during Puta's time as well. A German alchemist who failed to transform leads into gold was then imprisoned in the castle's massive prismatic tower. Puta had three nannies ward in a lie for turning his wife against his brothers. The complex was completely devastated during the Thirty Years' War, when Mansfeld soldiers bent on the rampage. The last owners, the Lamberg family, donated the castle to the Horosjevice Society for the preservation of artistic, cultural and natural monuments for a symbolic price of one Czech crown in 1920. And after 1945, it was taken by the Czechoslovak state 